Hello, good day. So let's have the fourth topic for our fourth quarter, which is entitled Exterior Angle Theorem. So we have two kinds of exterior angle theorem. We have the exterior angle equality theorem and exterior angle inequality theorem. Okay? For our objectives, we have the following. Number one, recall the definition of angles, interior angles, exterior angles, and remote interior angles. Number two, Determine the relationship of the exterior angle of a triangle and its remote interior angles. Number three, solve for the unknown variable by using the exterior angle theorem. For number one, let's proceed with this slide. So let's have the definition of the different terms. So let's have first the angles. Okay? So we all know that these are the angles of the given triangle. When the sides of a polygon are extended, other angles are formed, as we have seen in the given figure. The original angles are the interior angles, which are pointed with the red arrows, and the angles that form linear pairs with the interior angles are the exterior angles. Okay? So we have here the angles pointed with the red arrows. A. So an exterior angle of a triangle is an angle which is adjacent and supplementary to one of the interior angles of the triangle, while remote interior angles of a triangle are the interior angles not adjacent to the given exterior angle. So in the given figure, our exterior angle is this angle, angle 4, while... The remote interior angles are angles 1 and 2, which are not adjacent to the exterior angle. Okay? So those are the definition of the different terms. For our second objective, we are going to determine the relationship of the exterior angle of a triangle and its remote interior angles. So let us have first the exterior angle equality theorem. So an exterior angle of a triangle is equal in measure to the sum of the measures of its remote interior angles okay, or two remote interior angles. So in this figure, we have here the exterior angle and the sum of these two remote interior angles is said to be equal to the measure of the exterior angle in the given figure. So again, exterior angle inequality theorem, your new best friend, aside from the triangle inequality theorem, again, the measure of an exterior angle in a triangle is the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. So we have here the exterior angle, and again, the remote interior angles are 1 and 2, are angle 1 and angle 2. So, we may say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4, which is the exterior angle. Another example of exterior angle equality theorem is this figure. The measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B. Next, let's have the exterior angle inequality theorem. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either its remote interior angles. So in our figure, we have here the exterior angle and we have here the remote interior angles. So we may say that this exterior angle is greater than this exterior remote interior angle and again, this exterior angle is greater than this remote interior angle below. Okay? So, let's have this example. So, in the given figure, angle 4 is the exterior angle of the given triangle. So, we have here angle 4. Angle 1 and angle 2 are the remote interior angles, as you have seen in the figure. By the definition of exterior angle inequality, we may say that the measure of angle 4, which is 130 degrees, is greater than the measure of angle 1, which is 55 degrees. 
and the measure of angle 4, again, which is 130 degrees, is greater than the measure of angle 2, which is 75 degrees. Okay? So let's now proceed with the third objective. Solve for the unknown variable by using the exterior angle theorem. Okay? So what is the measure of angle G in our example 1? So we have here the given measure for the exterior angle. We have here the measure for angle F. And you are going to look for the measure of angle G here. Okay? So what are you going to do to find for the measure of angle G? Okay? So we have to take note that the measure of angle F, H, G, okay, this one, is equal to okay, the measure of 180 degrees because these two angles will form a linear pair. So that's why you will have 180 minus 111 is equal to 69. So we may say that this is equal to 69 degrees. And for you to find for the measure of angle G here, we have 180 minus 60 plus 69 degrees. Why? Because we have here a triangle and we all know that the sum of the measure of the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180. So that's why you have to subtract the sum of these two angles from 180 for you to find for the measure of angle G. So that's why we will obtain 51 degrees. Okay? So, any question? Okay, let's have example 2. Find X and Y. Okay. So, what are we going to find first? Okay, so it is helpful if you are going to find first the variable Y, the exterior angle, because we have the definition that the sum of the two interior angles or remote interior angles is equal to the sum or is equal to the exterior angle. So, that's why we have to add 30 and 82. So, you will obtain the value of Y which is 112 degrees. Okay? So, again, this is 112 degrees. Therefore, this time, you can find for the measure of x or the value of x so again these two angles form a linear pair so these two angles will be equal to 180 degrees since you already have here 112 degrees so you will have 180 minus 112 or simply 180 is equal to 30 plus 82 plus x because you can also have here a triangle so that's why these three angles will be equal to 180. Okay? So by addition property of equality, then you will obtain here 180 minus 112 is equal to x, which is equal to 68 degrees. So again, our x is 68 degrees and our y is 112 degrees. Okay? Next, let's have example 3. So, given the figure, you are going to find the measure of angle JKM. Okay? So, JKM is the exterior angle. So, we have to take note that, again, this is equal to the sum of the measure of the two remote interior angles. So, you have to equate 2x minus 5 is equal to x plus 70 because they are equal. And then you are going to solve using addition property of equality. Then you will obtain 2x minus x is x and 70 plus 5 is 75. Okay? So the value of x now is 75. But you are going to look for the value or for the measure of angle JKM. So you haven't yet done. So you are going to use 75 for the value of our x. Okay? So you are going to substitute. 75 in place of x. So the measure of angle JKM is equal to 2 times 75 minus 5, which is equal to 150 minus 5. So the measure of angle JKM is equal to 145 degrees. 
Okay, question. So let's now proceed with number four. Find the measure of angle one in the diagram shown. So we have here, this angle is 40x, this angle is 3x, and then the exterior angle is 5x minus 10. So you will have here, okay, to equate 40 and 3x to 5x minus 10. So there we have it. And then you are going to solve using, again, addition property of equality. Then you will have 50 equals 2x. So the value of your x now is 25. Okay. So since the value of your x is 25, okay, so we are going to substitute 25 in place of x. So we have the exterior angle here. So we may have here 5x minus 10. So substitute 25 in place of x. So you will have 125 minus 10. Then the exterior angle is 115. So again, this forms, this angles form the linear pairs. So therefore, you have 180 minus 115 is equal to 65 degrees. A okay, question? Okay. So let's try if you have really understood our discussion. So apply what you have learned about exterior angles of a triangle. Use the accompanying figure to answer with the correct relation symbol. So we have here angle BCD is blank, angle BAC. So you are going to put or to give the correct relation symbol, whether it is greater than, less than, or equal. Okay? So how are you going to compare angle BCD with angle BAC here? Okay, that's correct. We have greater than. Okay, how about the next one? Angle BCA is blank to angle BCD. How are you going to compare these two angles? That's correct. It is less than. Okay, next. Let's have angle BCD. How are you going to compare this to angle ABC? Correct. We have greater than and let's have this one angle bcd compared to angle abc plus angle bac okay that's correct they are equal a okay, question so let's apply what you have learned so apply what you have learned about exterior angles of a triangle use the accompanying figure find y okay so we have here the figure, so you are going to solve. So here is our exterior angle. So what are you going to do? That's correct. We have here 7y plus 6 plus 4y equals 116. And then combine these two, so you will obtain 11y equals 116 minus 6. Again, use addition property of equality. Then, 11y equals 110. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 11 for you to eliminate the coefficient of y here. So, you will have y equals 110 divided by 11 is equal to 10. Okay, so there we have it. The value of our y is 10. Okay, next, number 2. Find the measure of angle MED. Okay. So, of course, you're going to solve first for the unknown variable. So, you will have, okay. So, you will have 5x minus 10 plus 50 equals 9x minus 8. Okay. So, you will have your 5x minus 9x equals negative 8 plus 10 minus 40. Then, 5x minus 9x is negative 4x equals... You are going to add this 3. So, you will have negative. Okay. So, you will have. Okay, so, let's change this to 50. As we have here 50 as our given. So, we will have here negative 48. Again, this is negative 50. Okay. And then, you will have to divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. So, you will have your x equals, that's correct. 
Okay? So, we only have here the value of our x. So, we're not yet done because in the direction, you are going to find for the measure of angle MED. So, now we're given, we have here the given 9x minus 8 for the representation of the measure of angle MED. So, you are going to substitute. So, the measure of angle MED is equal to 9x minus 8. So, we are going to substitute 12 in place of x. So, you will have 9 times 12 minus 8. So, 9 times 12 is 108 minus 8. So, therefore, we have here 100 degrees as the measure of angle NED. Okay, question. Next, let's have number 3. You will just have find x. Okay. So, for you to solve this, you will have 3x minus 10 equals x plus 15 plus 25. And then, you will have 3x minus x equals 15 plus 25 is 40. Then, you will have your positive 10. 3x minus x is 2x equals 50. Then, divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, your x now is 25. Okay? So, since the direction is just find x, so we're done with number 3. Okay? Let's have number 4. Find the missing value of the remote interior angle. So, we are going to find for the missing value of this. Okay? So, what are we going to do? Yes. Okay? So, since we have here the linear pair... So, you will have 180 minus 105. Okay, sorry. So, we have here 75. Okay, so therefore, this will be 75 degrees. Since we have here 75 degrees and we have here 65 degrees, okay, which is equal to 140, and this formed a triangle, so, we will have here 180 minus 140 is equal to 40 degrees. Okay? So, therefore, this is 40 degrees. Okay, question number 4. So, let's now have the last one. Okay? Find the measure of angle V. Okay? So, for you to find that, you are going to solve first for the unknown variable x, okay? So, you will have your 6x plus 1 plus 7x equals 144. Then, you will obtain 13x equals 144 minus 1. So, 13x equals 143. Divide both sides of the equation by 13. So, you will have x equals 11. So, since our x is 11, so we are going to substitute the measure of angle V is 7x. So, you will have here 7 times 11 is equal to 77 degrees. And that is the measure of angle V. Okay? So, any question with number 5? So, if you don't have, that's all for this day. Thank you and God bless.